Marty! When I heard that the Boy Scouts decided to honor Chuck Weaver as their 2014 Distinguished Citizen, I had to find out why. I mean, sure, Chuck is weaving it all together in Peoria with his leadership, and the Boy Scouts are weaving timeless values into their own future, but where did all those threads begin? That's why I brought my time machine back to the past. Marty! Chuck's early life was based on a belief and trust in a higher power. His mother and father met, married, and raised five children in the Ann Street Mennonite Church on the south side of Peoria. That's where the first thread begins. Marty! Chuck's mom and dad worked hard on the farm, but they also invested a lot of time with the next generation. They taught their kids, they gave them the tools to be successful, and they passed on their own values and lessons. I wonder if that'll continue down the generations with other young people. It's pretty clear how close Bob and Virginia were with the kids. Well, and with the turkeys, the chickens, the cattle. But mom and dad really listened to them, really talked to them, really made them think. The kids, I mean, not the livestock. And that started the family thread. Marty! Look at this. The actual Farm Hall M tractor that Chuck's dad used to pull the corn picker when Chuck was five years old. The corn picker left a lot of corn in the fields and those leftovers became Chuck's first lesson in community service. The Ann Street Mennonite Youth Group came out in the field and picked up those leftovers, gathered them and Chuck sold it and donated the money to the Salvation Army when the family really could have used that money themselves. Oh, here's one left. I guess five-year-old Chuck couldn't quite toss that into the bed of the red Econoline truck, but it did start another thread. Marty, Chuck learned a lot about business from his mom and dad, working hard, looking for opportunities, making them into realities. But it turned out he learned a lot more from chickens. Raising them, producing them, producing them more efficiently, distributing them, and finally starting and growing a business based on a whole brand new breed, the Kentucky Fried. Marty! I got nothing. There's no record of any weaver ever having anything to do with golf. Hmm. Still, there's one more thread leading off into the future from Chuck's past. I hope it's something fun. All work and no play, you know. <sighs> So the threads of faith, youth, family, community, and entrepreneurship all start here in Chuck's past. And I'm starting to see the connections with scouting. But to find out where those threads lead and how scouting weaves them all together, let's go back to the museum. Marty! If my calculations are correct, when this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious sh